comes off. If I can get it, if I can get it from the back to like that. Up here at Donna's house, doing a new roof on her. Tear a whole thing off and put a new one on. I mean, it's just totally rotted in some spots. What are you doing, Pa? Detailing around this skylight or this uh, satellite dish. Oh, uh, so we don't have to take it off and realign it? Yeah, don't want to do that. We'll cut around it and we'll have to get some mastic to come in and seal it good all right well we'll, we'll we'll roof around it some of this felt though is coming up huh huh some of the felt over here is coming up and it's yeah. showing the plywood we're gonna have to run a couple layers of felt over it. do you think we'll have to replace the plywood uh, i don't know i'll have to look at that what'd you say huh what'd you say she's back oh she's back she got the food. How can we oh. only got that much? Huh? How can we only got that? Because I'm lazy. No. How can we only got a cheeseburger? Oh. Uh. Huh. Last little bit. Almost got it. Make that all in. Oh, <laughs> <didn't make> <laughs> Don't ever say that. <laughs> all right, last bit. Redeem your throw. Got a lot of shit to pick up though. Uh -huh. You got a lot of shit to pick up down there. <laughs> That's all you. Uh -huh. That was all your throws. You missed them all. Oh, it's not going to go anywhere. I don't care. I ain't taking no chances. All right. Plus it makes it sturdy up here. All right. Yeah, this drip edge is still good. Now we gotta pick up your mess. Yeah, I know. Start picking. <laughs> yeah, I'll help you out, I guess. Mm. On our way to the dump now. Whew, there's fiberglass everywhere. My arms, clothes. Oh, man. All right. We're gonna get them motherfuckers to actually do what? Load this stuff. I ain't loading it this morning. We can use that forklift out there and load this comp. Well, I just got up from our first night in Donna's house. I mean, that was cold. Were you cold? Or were you fine? My teeth are chattering. I don't even think there was any insulation in the walls of my room. I was sleeping outside pretty much. It was cold <laughs> as hell. I mean, goddamn. So, well, right now it's about 6.40. We're gonna go get some material for the roof and have them load.
loaded in while we drink our coffee and watch. Yeah. We're gonna bring it back, put it all on, try to finish it up. See what else we gotta do to fix up. We gotta get to finish it up. <laughs> this whole house is just a fixer upper. I mean, oh man. I mean, what else? What what can be done in that house? Everything, huh? Uh, bulldozer. That would probably be the best way to fix it. Bulldozer. Yep. Yep. Dump. So we're gonna get the material, get some coffee in us, and we'll update you then. All right, we're back. Got everything we need, loaded down, packed. I mean, this is really heavy on the trailer here. Now we just need to get all up to the roof. Just the two of us. You want me up top or down below? Doing that roof. Yeah, but uh, loading it up. Do you want me up top or down below? Because you might fall through the roof, huh? You can't fall through the freaking roof. <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> I cracked some goddamn plywood. No, let's let's get up there and clean the rest of the roof off. Get all the nails and everything like that nailed back down, so there's nothing rough. Um, and then I got to tear off uh, a few of the pieces of plywood that are dry rot. And then we'll get the plywood done first, get the felt down that we need to get down down up there, and then we'll start loading the comp up to the roof. I think it'd be better to bring that extension ladder and put it like right down there and come up. Yeah, off the side over here maybe. Oh yeah. So this was the stack that came out. Yeah. You know what? I can uh, if you can get the saw and that cord over here. Uh -huh. I'll lay it out real quick and try to rip off as much of this as I can without falling through. Because I got to get the saw and cut it the rest of the way up and over. Is it rotted all? I don't know. I gotta, in there? I got to get down there and look. That doesn't look too good. I know. Oh, yeah. Nothing left of that. I'm just worried about that one. Pull this up. It just pulls right up, dude. Oh, shit. Pull it right off. Push it way over to the side. Okay. Hold on. Right in my eye. Oh man. Oh, it's an old hornet's nest right there. It's like the start of one. I keep finding peanuts up here, dude. What's up with that? I don't know. <laughs> it's like the fifth one I found. Dude, that is bad. That is really bad. Is he rotten? No. I mean, what it's sitting on is not bad, actually. It's just this. All right, let's just get rid of all that, and then we'll we'll uh, take a look at it. Yeah, we'll put some put a new skin over it. Just be careful with these wires right here. Okay. Man. 
I, sh I should not be able to do that with my hand. No. <laughs> that is how rotten that is. That is terrible. You just now tear that up? Yep. Let's take a look. Holy shit. Barely sitting on there. I don't even know how it is. This this is so rotten. This thing needs to like be. Wow. I uh, I have an idea how to fix it though. Yeah, the supports down below. See where the cords go? They go to a box that's in the ceiling right there. Yeah, we need to run that before we. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna support it underneath first before we plywood it over. When she gets back, we'll go inside and do that. Man, that is bad. Yeah, if you were to lean on that, you would fall through. That thing would go all the way down. Yeah. And her front door is right here too. I guess pretty well supported. Finally got all the supports down on this. We left some of the old shit in there, but we just made our own supports to go over the top of it. So it wouldn't even matter if the old stuff fell through, ours would hold. The old stuff's not even holding it on there anymore, it's just ours and on the back. This thing is about ready to fall in on our head though, wasn't it? Yep. Man, it's looking good though. I'm gonna go spray some of that stuff. Up here again at about day three, and we're just finishing up all the belt putting it down, getting all the cracks done. So, at the peak here, we got big crack going down the center of it so we just got to put some belt down on top of that and get it all going with the shingles that's it just pull down this thing right here see that yeah and then the door will swing open it's it's plastic so you got to be careful with it okay then you right. just set the nails in there and then push them up the chute right there until it stops and then to close it, you just push it. So while you're going, it just pulls them all and starts? Yes. Yeah. It felt that. And then you set the depth here. So that way we line up the first one and then all the way down we just keep matching the edges. Yeah. Alright. See like this? Those ones match up, but you gotta stay square. See these lines are there for a reason. Okay. You've got to if they start wandering, so you take a measurement here. Looks like it's four inches on nickel. See that? Mm -hmm. See where the four inches is on the thick line? Yeah, I see it. That's what you have to make sure it maintains all the way down, okay? Alright. Put that out front. This one? Yep, next we go. Because I'm not going to stand up out there in the front. Hang on. See where I'm putting the four inches at? It's right there. It's at the front of the line. Okay. It's at the front of the line, okay? This thing, you pull the trigger, but pull the trigger, and you push it, and you stick nail on this line. You typically you're supposed to nail there, 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 there. Okay. Okay. Not there, not here. Right on that line. Be right there. Okay. I got you. Because the further you go forward. The more I have to slide the next one down, which is going to make us have a whole piece more on the whole fucking top side. So this next one, you have it. Right here. Like this one. It's going to come down. See through the nails are? 
Yeah, I see him. It's gonna come just past it. And cover the nails. Cover the nails. It's gotta cover the nails. Just past it. Okay, so basically, this line is my marker. So. You're actually better on the top. Feel, feel it, right there, feel it? Yeah. See how the, the two pieces, this piece and this piece? You can nail. This is where they want you to nail, really. It's back in here, to be honest with you. Behind it. So should I should do that yeah, instead? Yeah, it should be here. There, see how it, it sunk it down below it? See it? Yeah. Then when this one comes, that line, this line right here, see that, this piece, mm -hmm. it lines up with that. Okay. Okay? All right. So you're using this as your guide, and you're using this as your guide. Didn't hurt to pull some string lines too, though. Yeah. All right. So if that lined up right there on the front edge, yeah. One little bit, little bit off. If you don't pay attention and you go off a little bit, it's gonna throw the whole fucking roof off. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> so you bought your layer here. And then you get your full sheet down. And then you cut off eight inches, put this one down. Cut off 16 inches, put this one down. Cut off 24 inches, put this one down. And you cut off 32 inches and put this one down.
finally finished. All done. Four days. All sealed up. Okay. Come back next time and fix your swamp cooler. Way better than last than what it was before. What do you think? Tired? Yeah, kind of tired. No roofer. <laughs> yep. Any roofers out there? Props to you. Fucking tough. <laughs>